Hello, this is Heisenberg here to review some Supergirl and Harley Quinn statues. Yes, these are very good looking statues. I'm very pleased. So they're about nine inches tall each. The Harley Quinn has a taller base, so she's about ten and a half inches tall. And there they are next to a six inch uh, Mattel Catwoman. So, so on the left is the standard Supergirl, which you can buy from Diamond Select Toys. On the right is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, version, which is only for sale by Action Figure Express, uh, which is an online realtor. So lots of little differences between them. I mean, the base uh, uh, the base body is the same, but look, there's different hair, different eyes, uh, different costumes. So let's first take a close look at the standard Supergirl. Once again, this is from Diamond Select Toys. Yeah, they're making a whole series of these nine-inch statues of DC animated female superheroes and supervillains. They sell for about $45 each. So this Supergirl girl is based on how she appeared in the Superman animated series. And as I said, it's like, oh, I really like it. I mean, I like the face. I like the, like the uh, dynamic pose. Uh, like, you know, like the whole, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, she looks very fresh, very happy, you know, very dynamic. Uh, you know, I like the costume. Uh, so yeah, just very pleased, very pleased with the whole thing. And so you can buy this now uh, from Diamond Select Toys uh, website and presumably at you know local comic book stores. Now, as we'll see, and and as we'll see, there's actually going to be uh, even more in the series after after these three. There's going to be a Batgirl, a Wonder Woman. There's going to be a, a color version of the Harley Quinn. You know, what I'm showing here is the San Diego Comic Con exclusive black and white version going to be a Poison Ivy. Uh, I think they've just announced there's going to be a, a, a Hawk Girl, and presumably there'll be you know even more after that. Now, oh yeah, yeah, so here she is. Yeah, so here she is from uh, different angles. Now, uh, now, as we'll see, and I, in terms of which, which of uh, Supergirl do I like more, the standard version or the uh, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive version, I like them both quite a bit, so I'm happy, you know, to have both and not having, not having to choose. I think I actually like the overall. I like the standard version a little bit better because often what what comes down to me is the face, and I like and I like the uh, the way the eyes are painted a little more on uh, the standard version compared to the exclusive version. But there's things about the exclusive version that I like better than the standard version as well. Okay, so now here's the exclusive version. Again, this is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, 2,000 of them made. Uh, each one is numbered. So this is Supergirl as she appeared, at least part of the time, in Justice League Unlimited. Once again, it's only for sale from the online realtor Action Figure Express. And I like, yeah, I like the boots on this. I like the, uh, yeah, I like the color scheme. I like, you know, uh, 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 here. It's interesting that there's a lot of subtle differences. Uh, more than I expected between the two versions. I mean, the hair is a little bit different. Uh, the skin tone is a little bit different. Uh, so, uh, so yeah. So it's nice that you're, uh, you know, that that it's not just uh, uh, it's not just sim a simple uh, repaint. That there's uh, you know a lot of uh, you know there are uh, you know a number of differences here. You know, the costume's different. The you know the the hair you know the hairstyle's a little different. Now, and now, so we're, we're get, getting close to the Harley Quinn, which is also a San Diego Comic Con uh, limited, limited uh, uh, exclusive. Now, here, here she is. Here's the Harley Quinn, black and white. So there were four thousand of these. They're also numbered. Uh, there's still some for sale at uh, the Diamond Select Toys online store, and once again, sells for about forty-five dollars. Yeah, I like the mischievous pose here that they've given her. Uh, you know, I like the uh, yeah, I like that it's uh, I do like that it's black and white. So I'm very excited about this whole series of statues. I got to see the Batgirl and the Wonder Woman at the toy fair earlier in 2015, and yeah, it all looks yeah, you know, those two I uh, really liked. So I'm looking forward to those. Let's see with this uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Uh, 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 Supergirl, I was a little disappointed that you could only buy it from uh, one source, from Action Figure Express. So I did order it from them, 
while I was at it, I also ordered this uh, Harley Quinn from them. And I was a bit disappointed when they arrived at work. The box, the shipping box, arrived squished. It had gotten, like, you know, mishandled uh, in transit. And it was squished. I opened up the box. And uh, and to my dismay, the, uh, the, the boxes for the figures were right up against the edges of the shipping box. So the boxes for the figures had also gotten squished. And uh, luckily it was... You know, luckily, it wasn't too bad, and the figures themselves uh, uh, did not get uh, did not get damaged. But I was a little little upset about that because you know I like to keep the boxes and I like to you know have the boxes be in uh, you know as best shape possible along with the figures. So while we're on the subject, uh, you know what are the best ways to sort of like buy figures so that uh, the figure itself and and its box are in the best condition possible. Well, it's, it's always nice if you can just go to a local comic book store or go to a convention where, they, where hopefully they have several, several on the shelf to choose from and you can stare at them to your heart's content and figure out which one looks best to you. So I, you know, I got to do that with the uh, Diamond Select Toys uh, King Gadira Bank, uh, where I got to like, st you know, stare at them and picked out, you know, picked out my favorite. Now, if you can't do that, uh, which online realtors are, uh, seem to ship things uh, most safely? Well, I've actually had the I've been most impressed with uh, Big Bad Toy Store, that uh, that they do use a lot of bubble wrap. Yeah, here we're about to see the boxes. Now, it's not too bad if you look at the Harley Quinn box, sort of like on the right towards the bottom, it got a little smashed. Not too bad. But yeah, Big Bad Toy Store uh, ships things very safely with a lot of bubble wrap. And you can actually, you have the option of paying a few dollars more, saying that you want, in particular, that you want a box that's in, uh, you know, pristine condition. Uh, Diamond Select Toys has done an ac excellent job of uh, shipping things. Uh, NECA Toys uh, also does a great job of shipping things. I've actually had the worst experience with Amazon. So overall, with a, a, over, overall, I've had good experiences with Amazon, but whenever I buy toys from them, Normally, I'm buying toys from them that are already sort of like, you know, discounted, maybe sort of like the last few on the shelf. And those last few on the shelf that I buy are like really beat up, man. I mean, the boxes are in really rough shape. Sometimes the toy itself is in bad shape. I bought a Godzilla toy from them once where half of uh, Godzilla's tail was missing. At least with Amazon, it's uh, pretty easy to return items. So uh, actually, a lot of the toys I've bought from Amazon, I've ended up having to return it was just, uh, you know, it was just too banged up. Uh, but, uh, but uh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, you do what you can here. Yeah, here's the banged up box. See, not too bad. You can see it's a little banged up. But as I said, I'm really excited about this whole series from Diamond Select Toys. They call it their Femme Fatale series. They've had the Femme Fatale series for a while, but it's new that... Uh, uh, that there that that it now includes these DC animated uh, female superheroes and female supervillains, and I am I'm I'm quite I'm again I'm quite pleased. So once again, this is Heisenberg, hoping you enjoy your Diamond Select Toys DC animated female superhero and supervillain statues.